Hi guys, it's Nancy here and I want to share with you a project that I'm going to start. Um, I'm probably then just going to do kind of like a flick through. Um, I don't think I'm necessarily going to probably share my process, I'm not sure. Um, basically, me and my um, boyfriend's um, anniversary is coming up, we've been together four years. And so I wanted to make a little mini album. It's kind of quite a good tradition that I make a little mini album for like an anniversary or Valentine's. So. Um, if you look back in my um, video feed, you will see that I made a album for Valentine's Day. So my idea, I had these in my stash and I really want to use these. And I have decided to do an A to Z um, of us, of our relationship. So I also have loads and loads and loads of Project Life cards. So these, I believe, are from the Coral there wasn't an edition called Coral, was there? Hang on, it's behind me. Um, no, it was. It was the Coral edition. Anyway, most of these cards are from the Coral edition. Um, some are not, but most of them are. So I've pulled out these and my plan is to make a mini album. Um, and I need to find a book ring um, or something. Uh, I've got one here which is too big, which is what I keep my um, tags on my um, roller stamps on. I'm sure I've got some somewhere. It's not something I have a lot of because I don't tend to make many, many albums. So my plan is to kind of do a punch um, in the hole in the corner and then I printed out just loads of like, this is throughout the time that we've been together, um, different photos and things. So I'm going to put some photos in there also this, this is what I'm going to use for my A to Z. I then have in my homemade Midori here um, worked out a list of A to Z of different things I can do because that was quite a challenge and I did actually end up sitting, I think it was on a Scrabble website where like words beginning with Z or something <laughs> um, that I kind of went through to make sure I had something for each letter. So that's my plan. Um, I'm going to create a mini book and yeah, I will go from there. So I might show you some snippets of my process um, as I go along and yeah, and then I'll show you the final article. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks, bye. Hi guys, just wanted to share sort of where I'm at at the moment. I have all my cards, Project Life cards here. Some of them I have stuck together and some of them um, are just um, single, so I'm using both sides, but some of the sides didn't quite work out. Um, so this is my front and my back um, has a bit of chipboard um, in between it just to kind of stabilise it um, a little bit. I have found um, a ring so I can use that. Um, I'm going to be using these as I said Studio Calico um, Alphas. I'm going to be mounting those um, on a punched um, glittery circle and that's just a one inch punch and I've just punched that out with some, um, I think it's American Crafts glitter paper. I have about 25 photos here which I've just cut out and I printed four of these onto a 4x6 so there are my photos and now I'm going to get ready to do some um, putting together embellishment I'm also going to be using this craft punch and little heart as well throughout everything so that is it and I will share the end project with you soon bye guys well I have now constructed the main of it and I have the ring in it's quite chunky but I quite like it and I have put all of the letters um, in and I've stuck the photos in as well um, I am going to be using some of the cards just leaving them um, with like the phrases and stuff on and the rest are photos um, I have made these cards which I'm going to disperse through. There's just four of them which are just photos both sides because I printed off more photos than I needed. So I'm going to have to go through and write what each letter stands for and then I've got room for journaling as well. So really love how this is and sort of how chunky and solid it is. So I'm probably not going to decorate this bit because I don't know. I think you know I could put ribbon and stuff on it but that's not really going to appeal to my boyfriend I don't think so um so yeah I'm thinking I'm gonna use this punch which I found in my stash whoops I've knocked everything over this kind of three label punch so I think I'm gonna use that to create a few labels to just put um on the photos and bits here so 
that's how everything's looking for now and I will be back um, probably now when it's completed. <laughs> Alright then, bye! Hi guys, it's Nancy here and I am back with my finished really chunky little album made of Project Life cards. Um, I really love how it's come out. I said it is really chunky. Um, as I said, I didn't add anything onto here because as I said, I think I want it to be a little bit more masculine. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really pleased how it came out and just added a few little embellishments and bit through. Um, I mainly, as I said, used the coral cards um, and then I've used lots of the embellishments. So these are bits from the Heidi Swap Project Life kit. Um, and then I used um, two different stamp sets from the Finders Keepers, which is um, the Amy, new Amy Tan. So I've used um, some hearts and some chevrons um, and some exos. So I've just done really kind of simple um, embellishments because of course it's the journaling um, that really is like what's important in this. So I just made this um, cover and you saw that earlier. So I've just used a variety of um, different texts um, just to use to put what each letter stands for because this is the A to um, Z of or A to Z of um, our relationship and funny little stories like the time my boyfriend took me to the dentist and I was a bit high on Novocaine and was a little bit funny so <laughs> just little stories like that this XOXO is um, one of the Amy Tan stamps I've said I've just used a variety I've used this consistency of this gold circle um, and this alpha set Again, I've just used some little chipboard pieces because I have left some of the Project Life cards. Again, I just really love how these stamps just add a little bit of interest into it. These plus ones, again, are from, are from that. Again, I've just used a real variety um, of different bits and pieces that kind of mean stuff to us. And then there is just some um, photo bits either side. And I'm really happy um, how this came out. I said it's, it's really simple, but hopefully he'll hopefully he'll like it. Um, I will have given it to him by the time I put this video up because he does sometimes look at my channel. So yeah, again, just use one of those chipboard pieces there. And again, I really love how it's come out and just adding that little bit of black stamping just kind of adds some consistency throughout the album. But yeah, I really love how how this has all come out. And then again, have just used. Um, a bit of chipboard in between that back cover just to make it a little bit more stable so yeah I really really pleased how this has come out I'm definitely gonna have to do this again because I do have quite a lot of project life cards um, and I think these will make some really cute gifts um, either could just make some blank ones and people could you know put their photos in them themselves so I might do that as a few kind of like I don't know, little prezzies and stuff. Or I have done it before, I don't know, my bestie like printed some photos off her Instagram and put them in a little album for her. So yeah, this is a really great thing. I did struggle with some of the letters of the alphabet to find stuff. A bit applied to us, but that was part of the fun, um, as I said. So yeah, really, really happy how this turned out. And yeah, I just wanted to share this cool project with you. So thank you very much, guys, um, for watching this. And I will see you all again soon. Bye.